video is uh, part two of double-mindedness. Now the scripture is found in the New Testament of the Bible where it talks about um, the Lord being displeased with people who are double-mindedness, meaning that people can't stick to one thing or the other. It's very similar in the book of Revelations where um, the speaker says that you are neither hot nor cold. Well, basically I'm going to focus a little bit on relationships. Um, I know for me personally, I don't try to use uh, my public relations um, education or, you know, anything to dress up um, what I talk about or, you know, I don't show a lot of riches or wealth or I don't show myself extremely, um, you know, living poor or anything like that. I just turn on my camera and I just kick it to y'all, just make it real, that's how I do it. Um, I know for me personally, I've had several relationships in my life from the time I was younger, probably about 17 or 18, and um, basically what happens, or what has happened for me, and I assume it has happened for other people also, is that I'll go through a long period of time where I'm single and alone and or lonely uh, without um, intimacy from you know, someone of the opposite sex. And it seems like when I have met a woman then it's just weird because then out of nowhere all of these other women or females start popping up into my life or showing some type of interest which has been good because it kind of took away the you know the emptiness of being lonely or alone but at the same time it's caused problem caused problems for that new start or that new relationship because what it does is for the person that you start the relationship with it appears to them that you know you're a player if you're a dude or a female or you're trying to pimp or you know just trying to be out there loose and just have you know as many people as you can get and it gives people that impression and that causes an effect on people and you know people start to distrust the opposite sex you know so they start going purposely sleeping around with a lot of other people dating a lot of other people not trusting men if you're um, a man not trusting women and um, it just causes a, a whole big mess. Now, on the side of me, or for you, the individual that has been in that situation, what it does is it kind of brings confusion and it's not done by you or by me on purpose. Uh, what happens is, is that, you know, you get to a point where, you know, you're happy that you have these new friends now or the start of these new relationships. But at the same time, there are some people who are more interested and in genuinely being with you and having a future with you and so you may end up losing someone that's very good for you now the other people that may you know have the glamour and glitz or the nice looks or the nice body or whatever it is that interests you what it is for them is just you know like another accomplishment so you know they go on with their lives but then you're eventually back in the same situation with more problems piled on top of the problems that you already had so, I mean, it's kind of hard in that sense to be single-minded, you know, when you're dating someone, if you're not immediately going to marry the person or be with them. So, just keep that in mind. Now, another thing, which is um, kind of like a subtopic to that, is uh, when you start a relationship with someone, I know this has happened to me in my youth also, and I hope it doesn't happen in the future, or I hope it doesn't happen that much, but when you start a relationship with someone, and you get used to that person being around. You know, sometimes you begin to talk to them any type of way or, you know, say things that are rude or mean. And maybe you really don't mean anything by it, but you don't realize what you're doing to the other person. And that hurts people and you also are limiting yourself. Um, and you're not realizing certain faults. So if you can, you know, realize certain things about your faults, it's good to, you know, work on progress. Because that's part of a relationship also, building to make each other better or to make each other, you know, happy for the future. So when you, um, when you basically have those relationships and, you know, if you're in a single relationship one-on-one, -on -one, just you and one other person, and you um, basically have the person um, do certain things that you may not want the outcome to, um, let me try to be a little more clear. If you are in a relationship with a person and you want to be exclusive with that person then don't complain about certain things like I hear a lot of women and men complain about their partners like he or she works too much we don't spend enough time together or 
he or she is always around. You know, they don't ever do nothing. I'm tired of them being up under me. You know, that's a form of double-mindedness also because if you have one thing, you always, or a lot of people always want something else. You know, if they have a person that's, you know, there and they cook for them and clean or there when they're sick or just there just as a friend, you know, then people complain about it. You know what I mean? But then you complain about the other side also. He or she don't do nothing. They're not doing nothing with their life. They're not working. They're not trying to do this. So you're going to complain. A lot of people complain whether a person is doing everything that they want or if they're doing things that they not want. These are problems that have to be worked out and try to work towards being single-minded. You know, having a stable relationship. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I hope I explained myself clear in this video. Like I said, I don't write anything down. At least now I don't. I don't write anything down or prepare anything. I just turn on the camera and I just go. So hopefully some of my videos will be able to help someone out for the future. So um, with that said, once again, this is another Keefe video. And I wish you all peace.